Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 21st of 2023, well, it is titled Naked Eye Comet ZTF. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two images of Comet ZTF, a recent visitor to our inner solar system that is currently visible in the night sky. And here it was seen on January 19th, so just a couple of days ago. And we see one image of it where it is actually a naked eye comet where it is actually visible in the sky there and you can see it up towards the top slightly to the left in the image uh, with the greenish coma and then the tail faint tail stretching almost straight up away from the horizon. Now we can tell that that's the horizon. The tail will always point away from the sun. So the sun is there below the horizon. And then the tail is pushed away by the material uh, from the sun. The strong solar wind pushes those particles back. And that causes the tail to be away from the sun. So while it's a barely naked eye, as long as you have a region with very little light pollution, uh, such as the rural area shown here in Spain, you could you would be able to pick out the comet now close to the constellation of Butes in the northern sky. Now it will continue to grow brighter. Now if you remember when we first saw Comet ZTF we were questioning whether it would become bright enough to be a naked eye comet. It's not a super bright one but as they say comets are unpredictable in their brightness. So we couldn't tell at the time for sure whether it would ever reach this level of brightness. And as it continues to brighten and coming closer to Earth over the uh, coming days uh, it'll actually reach its closest approach to Earth on February the 2nd in a couple of weeks. And at that point, it will be just a couple of light minutes away from our Earth. Now, what is a light minute? Well, it takes the sun, it takes light about eight and a half minutes to travel from Earth to the sun. So it'll be there for about one quarter of the distance between Earth and sun. So it'll be way beyond the moon. It's not coming anywhere near us or in any danger of ever actually hitting Earth. But it will be a little bit closer to Earth there and may brighten even a little bit more. So we will have to keep an eye on it over the coming weeks to see how much it actually brightens. Now the second image on the right is a more detailed telescopic view. And you can see the very green coma around uh, the head of the comet that is caused by the excitation of carbon atoms. And now you can clearly see two tails. The one is the ion tail stretching straight back to the upper right. And that's the thinner tail. And then there's kind of a thicker white tail, the dust tail, which heads a little bit up closer to the top of the image. So both of those are the two tails of the comet. One is individual atoms and molecules, the ion tail. And the other is slightly a more complex molecules, bigger and slightly bigger pieces of material that are lag behind the comet in its orbit. And they separate into two separate tails in this case that we can observe as this comes closer to our planet. So that was our picture of the day for January 21st of 2023. It was titled Naked Eye Comet ZTF. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Previewed to be in green company. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.